This week, the Colorado Senate advanced a bill that could give tenants more protections from evictions. Yeah, that's right. Our Nine News legal expert Whitney Trailer joins us now to break down the legislation and its possible effects. Whitney, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you both. Let's start with the legislation itself. What exactly is being proposed? Well, what they're proposing is that a landlord, before they evict or not renew a lease, has to have cause. Right now, a landlord can can not renew a lease or evict for any lawful reason, any reason that's in the uh, in the lease agreement, actually. And so now what they're saying is that you have to have cause. So they're, it, it's essentially to prevent sort, some sort of discrimination or retaliation mm -hmm. because what we were finding was that tenants were making complaints, legitimate complaints, and the landlord then in retaliation because of this difficult market would just evict or not renew that lease. So now they have to have cause according to this new legislation if it passes. This has been talked about for a while now. I know that a similar bill failed in the last few days of the legislative session last year. So where is it this time around? Yeah, last year it, it didn't pass. There were not all the Democrats were on board. This year not all Democrats were on board. So there were, I think it just came out of the Senate, I think it was 19 to 15. So there were four Democrats who voted voted with Republicans against it. And what they did throughout the Senate was they kept taking things back so it wasn't as aggressive towards the landlord. Now, if it passes, do you expect a lot of litigation and exactly who would be suing? Right. This, this will be a good question. I think it will be, uh, there might be litigation. And this is really how our common law system works. So the legislature, our state legislature passes a law, but it doesn't cover every possible factual situation. So then what we do is people start suing and the courts make a ruling and that's how we develop our common law or judge made law. So here, what I think will happen is you're going to see probably more landlords suing saying, hey, I have an unruly tenant. Um, you know, I'm not because the landlord can certainly evict or get people out if they're doing things like major renovations, if right. they're taking it off the rental market, if they're going to move in. So there's reasons that a landlord can do it without violating this law. But what I suspect is you're going to see, and I've been a landlord and a tenant, and so it's difficult on both sides for sure. Uh, and you, it has to be a really good relationship for it to, right. be, to yep. be smooth. So here I suspect you'll see tenants, unruly tenants, maybe trying to uh, take advantage of it and stay in longer, saying that the landlord didn't have cause. It's a question. What if your lease says something that's contradictory to this new law, then, right. then what would happen? Right, great question. So which law supersedes? So essentially, the, the state statute is going to supersede. So what would happen is if you have a provision in there that says, for example, the landlord can terminate for any reason at any time, uh, with, with or without notice, for example, that would violate this new law if it passed. And so that would be a void provision. So you'll see in contracts sometimes they say that, hey, if one part of this is void, the rest of it is enforceable. That's why, because they could have a, a, a piece of the contract that's no longer valid law under this, this, new, this new statute. So, and, yeah. um, so people are going to have to, you know, this is to landlords and tenants, they're going to have to go back and look at the lease if this law passes to make sure their lease is still in compliance with the yeah. new law. Yeah, you don't realize how blessed you are to have a good relationship between a tenant mm -hmm. and the landlord. And For sure. that is crucial in a lot of cases. Yes. All right, Whitney, we appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Good to be here.